Hello, and welcome back to another Timberborn video. In order to make use of multiple districts, we have to make sure we get some of our precious beavers to the newly created districts. So today, we'll be looking at the migration options in the game. Once we get to the point in the game where we can no longer expand our initial districts, or we are unable to reach some of those fancy resources like scrap metal or underground ruins, it's time for us to plan for some new districts. After we've decided the proper location for such a district, have mapped out our initial building placement, and maybe even already shipped some mandatory goods to get the district started, it is time to migrate some of our beavers over. Let's start with manual migration. This is shown in the top part of the migration panel. Please note that the game automatically pauses when this panel is opened. On the top we see the selected districts, which we can cycle through or quickly select the district we want from the drop down. Below it we see a few rows. These are the different types of beavers, being adult beavers, kids, and once unlocked we have a third row for golems. We have multiple arrows on both sides to move a single beaver to the other district, 10 at once, or all of them. This part is pretty straightforward, but we will get back to this after we've gone over the automatic migrations, because there is a caveat. Automatic migration can be great, however, it can also get some unwanted results if not set up properly. Under automatic migration we have all the districts listed and we again have the rows per beaver type. Here we can set a minimum number of beavers we want to keep in this district at all times. If we have less than the number set, this district is eligible for immigration. If we have more, that means the excess beavers can migrate to another district. In this case, district 1 has 29 adult beavers. We can set the minimum to 20. That means 9 of them are eligible to migrate out of there. Once we set a minimum number of adult beavers in district 2, for example 5, we see the number in district 1 decrease to 24 and we now have 5 in district 2. There is an option to prevent a district from migrating beavers even if the minimum is set. These two buttons allow you to toggle immigration and emigration. For example, this can be useful in case you want to import extra beavers in case we drop below the minimum, but we never want them to leave. After you've set a minimum for one of your districts, make sure you go through all of your other districts and either disable emigration or set a minimum as well. As the default minimum is zero, this means that a whole district can be emptied out and moved to another district without you realizing. Now let's get back to the caveat for manual migration. Let's set these three districts, all with a minimum. 20 in District 1, 5 in District 2, and 10 in District 3. We do not have enough adult beavers to fill District 3. We also have a total of 7 jobs available in District 2. If we now manually move 2 beavers from District 1 to District 2, they immediately disappear out of District 2 again, because the minimum of District 1 and 3 are no longer met, and the beavers are therefore moved to either of those districts. This is why we need to be very careful in combining the two methods of migration. Unwanted results are waiting around the corner. I hope this gave you a good starting point on migration in Timberborn. In case you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you are not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I also stream on Twitch and we have a Discord server. Both links are in the description. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.